So now in this video, we're going to do a quick test of the high-speed CMOS version of the 7414. So that is the 74HC14 integrated circuit there. HC stands for high-speed CMOS. But uh, when you look at the uh, dash sheet, you'll see that it has a recommended voltage range of uh, down to 2 volts. And um, I think it goes up to uh, 6 volts. Normally they're used in 5 volt circuits. But in any case, this video we're going to see if we can actually get an output that goes high and low in that uh, 2 volt range. So now to begin with, take the measurement. We're going to use the multimeter. This is auto ranging. All I have to do is set it to V for voltage. And it does the rest uh, pretty nice. And we can look at the supply rail voltage first and see that it is uh, 2 volts. Uh, not perfectly 2 volts, but close enough. That's the voltage across the uh, trim pot there. And we have the trim pot set to uh, most of the voltage. We're close to the positive supply, so that's a high input. We expect a low output because this is an inverter. It's an inverter with Schmidt trigger. So in any case, there you can see we got zero volts there. But that may just mean that uh, it's not powered because it's not working properly or something. We don't know for sure. But in any case, we're going to turn the trim pot uh, down now. So we're going to have a uh, pretty low voltage there. We're at least a bit below halfway. We're well below halfway. Um, but as long as we're a bit below halfway, we should have a low input. And uh, there you can see we actually have, it looks like, the full supply voltage uh, coming out. Now, of course, if we put any load on that, it may throw it off or something. But you can see we can actually achieve that voltage. And now we got a two-channel oscilloscope so we can look at both voltages. Two volts at the trim pot because it's set all the way up to the positive supply. We'll drop uh, below one volt a, a little bit, and then you'll see that the uh, output uh, jumps up to two volts and uh, so I go down low enough with the input the output goes up but we got the full two volts that's the main thing and then we go up high enough now the output goes low but you can see there's a middle ground region here where it's going to stay in whatever state it currently is that's the hysteresis range that prevents rapid uh, switching with uh, just a slight uh, voltage change you need to get a fair amount of voltage change from the input to get the output to change. All stuff we covered uh, earlier. But in any case, this test went really good. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.